Hello folks, welcome back again. So today we're going to be taking a wee look at the Sanian SW208 bookshelf speakers. Let's get into it. So if you've seen my previous video, I say is at some stage I was hoping to, to upgrade the, the speakers on my desk to something a wee bit more more eye pleasing and I've seen these on the Amazon website, great reviews for it and I thought I'd go for it. We'll just jump over to the Amazon website just now and I'll actually show you some of the details about these speakers. So here we have the speakers here on the Amazon website and what I'll do is I'll leave a, a link for this down in the description below in case anybody's interested in buying these or having a little look. So the, uh, they are um, 3 inch active Bluetooth 5.0 bookshelf speakers with a power rating of 60 watt. It's carbon fiber speaker units and it comes with a built-in 24-bit DAC including dynamic 3D surround sound. Now I believe the, the built-in DAC only works when you've got this hooked up with Bluetooth or with the USB at the back so just bear in mind that if, uh, if anybody's interested in buying them. Obviously I've bought the white ones but you can also get these in black as well. At the moment they're currently $69.99. I actually got these on a day where they were doing a, a one of these limited time deals and they took another £10 off this, so they were $59.99 and as you can see here there's a little voucher you can tick to apply and that's a further 5% off taking them down to £55 which is pretty good considering they were £90, quid. great little bargain. As I mentioned before, pretty good uh, ratings as well, 423 ratings with a 4.5 star. So. Seems to me like it was a good buy. Um, if there's any other details down here we can go through. Um, no, I think I pretty much covered it all. And just a little bit here about energy saving as well. Kind of energy saving kicks in when the speakers aren't in use. What we'll do now is I'll jump over and give you a quick unboxing video. Right, we'll just get this box cracked open now. Got my little knife handy. One speaker out and the second speaker out. And then here we've got a bag of the cables that come with the speakers. Power plug as expected, power cord. And it's just the typical figure eight style power lead. Then we have here is the USB A cable to USB -A mini. There's a little story about this if you watch the end of the video and I'll explain. And here we have a 3.5 2 pole audio lead and the instructions as expected in various different languages and here it explains how to uh, pair the Bluetooth and so on. Here we have the first speaker, this is the left hand speaker. Good quality feel to these already, nice, nice and heavy speakers, well built by the looks of it. And then in the back here we have the audio out lead, <coughs> or should I say the audio lead. Uh, audio in lead RCA cable that will go into the right hand speaker. And now we can move on to the right hand speaker itself. Really do have a, a great feel to them, nice and heavy, cracking build quality. So here we have the 3 inch uh, carbon fibre style cone speaker. Little tweeter up the top here. Along the top it is 11.8 centimetres by height of 19 centimetres and the depth is 13.6 centimetres. Made out of MDF wood, nice and solid. On the bottom we've got a little four, uh, four little rubber feet here for sound dampening with the Sanyin logo on the front. And to the side here we have the indicator light, we have a mode switch and a volume switch. We have a treble uh, dial and a bass dial. All feel good quality. On the back itself we have the connection for the left hand speaker. We have a 3.5 audio in jack, we have the mini USB connection, the power switch itself and of course the connection for the power lead. Really impressed by these for the price, uh, you can't really go wrong, cracking build quality. And now we'll move on to putting these on the desk. So this is my wee desk at the moment and you can see the little pebble, creative pebble speakers I've got set up at the moment. As I say, these have been great speakers. I just thought I'd get myself a nice wee upgrade to look apart. And now we have the new speakers in place, and I think they look excellent, they really do. It's definitely a, a much better upgrade from what I had. 
both looking the part on the desk to go with the black and white theme I've got of all my stuff. On the side here we've got the dials as mentioned, so indicate a light at the moment. So green which is for aux, push the button in. That changes it to red for USB in. And then the last push of the button changes it to Bluetooth. You can see it flashing in a moment because it's still waiting to be paired, but as always it's a simple operation. You know how to pair stuff with Bluetooth by now. And I'll push it back to green for um, aux in. And at the bottom there is my little um, receiver from my headset. So I've got the aux cable plugged in that at the moment. So basically when I turn my headset on it kills the sound to the speakers. Now what I'll do is I'll give you a sample of the sound. So there you go guys, that was the Sanyon SW208 bookshelf speakers. What do you think? I think for the price that I paid for them, they're, they're brilliant looking little speakers. They sound excellent, really really hard to tell from the video, obviously I'm recording this with my mobile phone, you're probably listening to it in speakers or headset or whatever like that, so you don't appreciate the sound of them, but they, they do sound good. Um, don't get me wrong, the little Creative Pebble speakers, the, the V2 Pebble speakers I had before, were actually really, really decent little speakers, packed a pretty full, powerful punch. But these are just more pleasing to the eye, they sound better. I think for the price, they're absolutely fantastic speakers. 55 quid, can't go wrong with that. Um, just a couple of things to point out. Um, the instruction booklet quite clearly shows you that the USB cable that comes with this has a split at the end for a USB Type-C and a USB Type-A cable. I didn't get that. The cable that came with mine was just purely mini USB to USB Type A. Um, if you look at the Amazon website, it does tell you what's in the box and it does state that, but the instructions tell you differently and the comments and the reviews that I've seen, I've seen people saying that there's, uh, they've used the USB Type C cable. So at some stage, either, well, either they've just put the wrong cable in my box or at some stage Sanyon's decided to, to just change it to a USB Type A cable but it's just to give you a heads up in case any of you are actually planning to buy these speakers and you want to utilise an existing USB Type C cable regardless of that, if you do get it and it is only a USB Type A cable it's so easy to go and buy another cable from Amazon a couple of quid and jobs, jobs done another thing just to point out as well the length of the cable from the left speaker into the main right speaker is only 1.3 metres long um, just thought I'd let you know that because it kind of limits you to how far apart you can spread these speakers on your desk. You might have a nice big long desk and you want them spread out as far as possible or maybe wall mount them or something like that. Um, so I thought I'd just let you know it's only 1.3 metres long but again you can buy extension cables or longer cables. Um, in fact you'd have to buy an extension cable because it's, it's hardwired under the left one. But you can buy an extension cable anyway and it, it solves the problem. So yeah that was it. Um, what do you think? Do you think these are pretty worthwhile speakers for the price? As I said before, I think they're superb. Um, you can let me know down in the comments what you think about these speakers. If you can, please leave a like and subscribe. Get these videos shared for me if you can. That would be much appreciated. And hopefully I'll be back soon with some other content for you guys. See you later on.